Today in this video, we are going to learn control wiring of star delta starter. Friends, I know that before this video, you already watched the videos on control wiring of star delta starter. Even after watching those videos, if I ask you to perform the control wiring of star delta starter, you may not be able to do it. You have to watch a video again to do the control wiring. If you watch this video today, I will guarantee you, you are going to remember this video for lifetime. I will explain you this video in a delightful manner. So friends, let's start the video. Friends, for making star delta starter, you have to use total three contactors. Besides, for protection of motor, you can use an overload relay. Apart from this, you have to use this two pole MCB also. This MCB which we used, this is for controlling. Besides all of these, you have to use two push buttons here. One push button is for start and another is to stop. What we have to do here first is this MCB we have through this MCB we receive phase supply and neutral supply which will be used for control wiring. I am writing P here. P means phase supply and below here I am writing N. N means neutral supply. So here the phase supply we have take this phase supply and first of all to this overload relay we have to connect the supply. In this overload relay you can see there are many terminals. At which terminal you have to connect phase supply, first understand this. Friends in this overload relay, these pins here, these pins are going to be connected with this contactor. In this way, this overload relay is connected. After this, T1, T2, T3, these terminals are for power. This means the power which is supplied to motor will be supplied through these three terminals. Besides, you can see four more terminals are provided here. Among these, one is NO contact and one is NC contact. The NO contact here is used to make overload trip indication and this NC contact is used for interlocking. It means when overload relay got tripped, then in this condition, this NC contact here, this NC contact turn off the contactor. NC contact will always let power supply to flow ahead. But when this overload relay trips, then in this condition, power supply will not flow from here. I mean power supply will break from here. So let's make the symbol of NC contact here. In this way you can make the symbol of overload relay. The NC contact of overload relay has terminal number 95 and 96. So what we have to do here, take this phase supply and to this 95 number terminal here, we will connect the wire with this terminal in this way. From this overload relay, power supply will go to this stop push button. This means from this 96 number terminal of this overload relay, Connect one wire from this terminal and to the NC element of this push button, you have to provide input power supply. What we will do, first of all make a symbol of stop push button. Now here from this 96 number terminal, connect the power supply and provide input power supply to stop push button. Now this stop push button, I mean this push button, take the output supply from here and to this start push button, we have to provide input power supply. So we have to make one more push button here and this will be used to start. The element which you will connect at the back of start push button must be NO element. So here is our start push button. We will provide power supply to this start push button through stop push button. When we press this start push button here or pressing this power should be supplied to this timer or if you want you can supply power to this contactor. Right now what I am doing is I am supplying power to this timer. Let's make the symbol of timer we have. In the symbol of timer, you can see cross is there. Meaning of this is the timer you have is on delay timer. Friends always remember one thing that the star delta starter you have, the timer which you can use here must be on delay timer. Now in the coil of this timer, so at A1 you have to provide phase supply and at A2 neutral supply. What you have to do from output terminal of start push button, take one wire and provide power supply to this coil. I mean at A1 terminal, you have to connect this wire. Now at A2 terminal of timer, we have to provide neutral power supply. So directly from here, I connected neutral power supply. Now after this, the contactor you have, make the symbol of this contactor. After making symbol, we will do the wiring. So here I am drawing symbol of three contactors. Now at A2 terminal of all the contactors, you have to provide neutral power supply. So I am directly connecting the neutral power supply. Among these three contactors, 
this contactor here will be used as star contactor. I mean to connect motor winding in star, this contactor will be used. Let us name this contactor as star contactor. After this, this contactor here will be used as delta contactor. After this, this contactor here will be used for main power supply. So this is our main contactor. So naming of all the contactors is done. Now for wiring of these contactors, what you have to do, listen carefully. Friends look, when I press this start push button here, power supply will flow from output terminal and when I don't press this start push button, then power supply will remain till this point. It will not flow further from here. So the wiring which you will do further, the power supply which you will use in this wiring, this power supply will be used for output terminal of start push button. So I am drawing a line here. This line will be used for phase supply. Now through this wire, how we are going to provide phase supply to all the contactors, this is the most important thing. And you have to understand this very carefully. Friends, what you have to do here is, the timer you have here, in this timer, you can find NONC contact. I am showing you NONC contact here. In this circuit diagram, you can see the 15 number terminal here is common terminal. 16 number terminal is NC and 18 number terminal is NO. So here in this star contactor, first of all, we have to turn on this contactor. This means to turn on star delta starter, when you press start push button, then at first your star contactor must turn on and after some milliseconds, main contactor must also turn on. So in this timer, the NC contact here, let's make the symbol of NC contact. So you can make the symbol of NC contact like this. I am writing TNC here. This is timer NC. Here also write timer. Now power supply to this timer NC contact will be supplied from output terminal of start push button. So from here through a wire we provided input power supply to this. Now from this NC contact power will be supplied to this contactor. Friends here we use NC contact of timer because the start push button we have, I mean this push button, when I press this then the coil of the timer to this coil when power is supplied then power will further flow from here and will go to star contactor. You can see circuit is closed here. This means power will be supplied directly to this contactor. After this what you have to do the NO contact of this timer by NO contact I mean the 18 number terminal here. This terminal you have to use for delta contactor. So I am making the NO contact of timer here. I am drawing the NO contact of timer and it is named as TNO. Input power supply to this NO contact will be supplied from output terminal of start push button. From output terminal of this, power is supplied to delta contactor. Now main contactor is left. We have to turn on this main contactor after the star contactor is turned on. When you press start push button, then first your star contactor must turn on. The moment it gets on, this contactor here must also turn on after this. For this, what we will do, this star contactor we have the NO contact of this contactor, like here you can see, above here is NO contact and below is NC contact. So we have to use this NO contact to turn on your main contactor. I am making the symbol of NO contact of star contactor. Now to this NO contact, from here we provide input power supply. The power supply from output terminal of this NO contact will be directly supplied to main contactor. When this get closed, power will be supplied to main contactor. And to close this, you have to turn on star contactor. The wiring we done till now, in this, when we press start push button, then to the timer and to the star contactor, power will be supplied. When this contactor turns on, main contactor will also turn on. Along with this, the countdown in this timer also gets started. But when we release this start push button here, power supply will not be supplied in the whole circuit. This means power supply will remain till this point power will not flow further from here. This results in turning off all the contactors. To solve this problem, along with this push button, you have to make a holding circuit. To make holding circuit, what you can do is, the main contactor you have, the NO contact of the main contactor, I am making symbol of NO contact and I can write MNO. So this is the NO contact of main contactor. Power supply to this NO contact will be connected in parallel to start push button. So what you have to do, to the start push button here, power supply which is supplied here, just from above terminal, from here, connect one more wire and provide input power supply to this contact. In this NO contact of main contactor, 
from the output terminal, we will connect the power supply with output terminal of start push button. You can see wire is connected here. Let us understand this wiring one more time. Look, to this start push button here, from this main contactor, the anode contact of this contactor, you can see above here is anode contact. So you have to connect two wires with anode contact and bring these wires and connect with output terminal and input terminal of this push button. So one wire will go from here to this point and one wire from here goes to this point. Only this much connection you have to do here. After doing this much connection, even if you release start push button, power is still supplied to this circuit. Now here you know that this timer we have, this timer will turn off the star contactor after some time and turn on the delta contactor. If star contactor is turned off, then you will see that the anode contact used here of star contactor, this contactor will turn off after turning on. To solve this problem, the anode contact of this contactor is used here. Similarly, for this same contactor, we have to use another anode contact. So here I am making one more anode contact and this is our anode contact of main contactor. For power supply to anode contact, connect the supply from here and output power supply of this is connected with output terminal of this. Control wiring of star delta starter is made, but there is one thing left. What left is the star contactor here and the delta contactor here, both these contactors need to be interlocked so that these two contactors will not turn on together. If somehow by mistake these contactors turned on together, then in this condition, short circuit will be there. I mean it will get blast. So you have to do interlocking here. This means your star contactor and your delta contactor, the NC contact of both these contactors, NC contact is below here. So these two contacts will be used for interlocking. For interlocking, what you will do is, in this delta contactor, the NC contact of delta contactor will be used in the circuit of star contactor. This means for this, draw NC contact here. In this way, I made NC contact. This NC contact here is of delta contactor. So I am writing here delta NC. Similarly for this star contactor, NC contact will be used in circuit of delta contactor. This will be our NC contact of star contactor. This means to turn on this, in between we use this also. So that if this contactor is turned on, then power supply must not go to this contactor. So this was the whole wiring of star delta starter control wiring. Now we will understand the working of this. Look, if you press start push button, then in this timer, star contactor and main contactor will turn on. Countdown in timer will be started. When countdown of timer is completed, this NC contact here will open and NO contact will close. When this is closed, power supply will flow from here and delta contactor will turn on. This contact here is open, so power supply will not flow from here and because of this, this contactor will turn off. I mean star contactor will turn off and delta contactor will turn on. In all these processes, this main contactor here will always remain on. Reason behind this is, through NO contact of star contactor, we turned on the main contactor. But in the same contactor, we use NO contact for holding. This means when this contactor is turned on, this is converted to NC. So if even the star contactor is turned off, then still power supply will flow from here to this contactor. Until the time the starter is on, this contactor and this contactor will remain on. So at the time of start, main contactor and star contactor will turn on and when motor comes in running condition, then on main contactor and delta contactor, motor will run. Now if you want to turn off this motor, then simply press stop push button. Motor will be turned off. Besides, if any other problem occurs, then in this condition, this overload relay here, this overload relay you will use also turn off the motor completely. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.